everybody doing? Woo! Happy 60th anniversary from the park that started it all, Six Flags Over Texas. We are thrilled that you're going to be with us here today. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do about a four-hour presentation. I'm joking. It won't be that long. Um, we're going to look back, celebrate some of our history, as well as make an announcement on what to come. Woo! When I say that, you have to say, ooh, what to come. Woo! There you go. The first thing I want to do here is just go off script just a little bit and ask anybody who either is currently a team member or has worked for Six Flags Over Texas to raise your hand, make some noise. If you've ever worked at this park in some way, shape, or form, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for contributing to the legacy and the memory and the history of this amazing park, but also the legacy, memory, and history of this amazing industry. This was the park that started it all. And for those of you who are not currently working for us, you can apply for a job at sixflagsjobs.com. We can use you for the balance of the summer and for our Fright Fest season. So to kick it off, let's take a look back over 60 years of thrills here at Six Flags Over Texas. Six Flags the was the grand opening of Six Flags Over Texas. Wasn't that a pink thing? Yes, sir, that there was one of them pink things. over Texas, fun is a mile-a-minute experience for the entire family. That Six Flags March is my new airworm for 2021. I love that song. I sing it everywhere, even though I only know like four words of it. So, in the late 1950s, Angus G. Wen, a Texas oil man, had a dream of a new type of family entertainment. He envisioned theme parks that would be large in scope, even bigger than Disneyland, but closer to where people lived making them more affordable and easier to visit. Six Flags Over Texas was the first theme park to introduce a pay one price admission ticket, as well as Broadway style musical entertainment. Six Flags Over Texas has debuted many first of their kind theme park attractions that have since gone on to be found in amusement and theme parks around the world. These include El El Cedadero, the world's first log flume, Runaway Mine Train, the world's first mine coaster, Texas Cliffhanger, the world's first free fall attraction, and of course the new Texas Giant, the world's first and best wooden hybrid coaster. Yeah. I know I worked at that place down south, but Texas Giant's still the best. And of course, oh, yeah. because we live in Texas, we have to have the tallest skyscraper over 400 feet above Arlington. Now fast forward to 2021, our park's 60th anniversary season. We wanted to do something to celebrate our anniversary all year long. So we created a lineup of amazing festivals, like Fire and Ice Winter Festival, with all new shows, including Reverend Butter's Ice Carving Show. We extended the run of the Frosty Snow Hill and fireworks every Saturday night and much more. After spring break, we introduced Viva La Fiesta, a celebration of Latin culture with specialty food items, live performances with song and dance, and beautiful decorations throughout the park. We also brought back some classic attractions, including reopening Casa Magnetica. It is still one of the few Tilted House attractions left in the world. And to finish off the season, this summer we reintroduced the Best of Texas Festival, highlighting what makes the Lone Star State the biggest and the best. Live stage shows return to the park with the introduction of Deep in the Heart and Blazing Bells. And I have to say, those shows closed this weekend. So if you haven't seen them yet or want to see them one last time, this weekend is your last chance. And of course, we were able to celebrate the 4th of July with fireworks once again. You notice the theme with fireworks here? Woo! But we're not done yet. Woo! Starting September 11th, we're bringing back Fright Fest. Yeah! Everyone's favorite Halloween event with our biggest Fright Fest ever. 
We're introducing three new haunted houses, all new shows, including Love at First Fright in the Southern Palace Theater, plus much, much more. That's right. We will be doing shows back in the Southern Palace Theater for the first time since Holiday in the Park 2019. We can't forget about the most magical time of the year with Holiday in the Park, starting on November 18th. Millions of twinkling lights will illuminate the park and guests can roast s'mores and sip our famous hot cocoa and slide down frosty snow hill. We'll send 2021 out with a bang with, of course, what? Fireworks! Fireworks on Woo! a new celebration. And we have some new and exciting things that we'll be unveiling for you shortly here related to Holiday in the Park. But I know we're all excited about the one thing you've seen in the park that you're ready to ride. Ready to ride? Woo! You may notice when you walk over there, the ride looks a little different than it did about four days ago. So things are moving fast as we install the turntable, and we're working very hard as a team to also develop and introduce some immersive theming in the ride. So we're very excited about Aquaman Power Wave. You guys excited about it? Woo! It will open summer of 2022. We can't wait for your ride to experience this ride. It's going to be a one of a kind ride in North America. But that's not all. Ooh. In 2022, we're bringing back the Fire and Ice Winter Festival. This January, with more fire and more ice and more chilling waves to experience the park during those early months of next year. And we're also bringing back Viva La Fiesta in a bigger and better way than ever before. Hold on, wait a second. Let's... Sorry. Sorry, guys. Looks like we're having, having some technical difficulties. Hey, Sharon, Brad, you guys... Uh, attraction to life. You guys are ready for Woo! Pirates of Spielberg Cave? Woo! Our goal is to announce it early in 2022, but my goal is to have it to be the first new theme park attraction to open anywhere in America, right here at Six Flags Over Texas. I don't know how I top that, but I'm getting the hook from Sharon here. So one thing I, I did acknowledge our team members uh, former and, and present, I also wanted to thank you, our valued guest. 
You guys are the reasons why we come to work every day, to make memories and thrills and laughter. I appreciate your enthusiasm for the park, I appreciate your love for our industry, and I can't thank you enough for being our most diehard Arden fans. And I promise you, we wake up every morning thinking about ways to make your day at the park better. So I hope you enjoy the balance of your day here. Thank you so much for being with us to celebrate. We hope you enjoy the rest of the visit. Be sure to check out the 60th anniversary museum. Has anybody been through the museum yet? It is tremendously amazing. You guys will enjoy it. And we'll see you all again real soon. Thanks so much for coming up and happy 60th anniversary. Thanks, so.